Thank you for joining us today. Why did you decide to run for state representative? And who did you tell first when you decided? Well, the first person I told, of course, was my wife. And I decided uh, I've been active in the Lakeville community in volunteer capacity in the Lakeville Rotary and the Chamber. And so uh, it was a continuation of being involved in your community. I think we all have a calling and to be active in our communities and be engaged. And so I had done that in Lakeville, and this is the next progression of that. And when Representative Holberg decided to not seek reelection and retire from the House, uh, I had worked with her over the years and been involved a little bit in politics already, so it was kind of a, a next progression of that service. So I'm happy to do it and happy to represent Lakeville and excited to do the work for the state of Minnesota. Can you describe your district and tell us what you're looking forward to most as serving as a representative for your constituents? The Lakeville district uh, for House 58A is all of Lakeville minus a couple of sections of, of the city, so I don't even cover the whole entire city of Lakeville. But it's a, it's a great district. We've got great organizations, great community, great schools, uh, a lot of really nice people. Uh, door knocking and campaigning uh, was really fun, meeting everybody and uh, very cordial, uh, hardworking people, um, a lot of moms and dads working. Uh, we care about our kids. We care about uh, their education, we care about uh, pocketbook issues, making sure that um, their state government is run eff effectively and efficiently and that we're fiscally responsible. Um, some of the issues that we uh, address during the campaign and that people want us to focus on are transportation, education, health care. So we're excited um, to represent uh, the many people and friends uh, back home. So we'll see uh, how the session goes and we're looking forward to representing them. What do you think is the biggest issue facing our state? The biggest challenge facing Minnesota is in this cycle, you know, figuring out the budget and making sure that it's a, a balanced budget in terms of priorities and trying to focus those priorities that match the priorities that people back home have expected us to address, transportation, education, health care, so that'll be one of the biggest things. Um, but then just, y you know, I'm excited to, with the freshman class, to bring a balanced approach, and by balance, not just Democrat, Republican, but let's lay out all the ideas on the table and come up with the best solutions. Can you tell us what your favorite book or movie is and why? Well, I'm trying to read the Bible a little bit more, but that's a good thing. Um, but one of the more interesting books that I've read recently was uh, Lakeville has uh, one Book, One Lakeville, it's called. So the last book uh, they had was The Orphan Train, which I thought was pretty interesting. I'm an adopted child myself. So I did uh, pick that one up and read it. It was very interesting. It's a much different situation. Uh, it was orphans uh, from immigrant families that came to the US. But uh, my situation was a little bit different. I, um, I was born in Colombia and I uh, had a mother there, and she had passed away, and I had an older sister that wasn't able to take care of me, and so when I was five, I was put in an orphanage for a little bit and came to the U.S., but uh, the one book, One Lakeville, uh, The Orphan Train is a, is a good book, and that's a great program, and it's kind of fun to have the city connect um, through, through reading in the library, so that was probably one of the more interesting books that I've read uh, a little bit more recently. Obviously during the campaign I didn't read a ton, but uh, that's probably the first one that comes to mind. Mm -hmm.